If you were lucky enough to see this 10-metre puppet of a Cornish miner make its 130-mile trip through Cornwall and West Devon two years ago, you'll not have forgotten it. But now the creator of the biggest mechanical puppet in Britain has written a children's book to further ensure this man engine won't be forgotten. In 2016, there was massive reaction from all sections of the community, but the way children took our big boy to their hearts was really moving. And I thought these youngsters, they're the people who will care for our Cornish mining heritage in the future. I wanted to produce something for those younger people that would give them an outlet for that interest and that passion and lift the lid on the treasure chest of Cornish mining. People at this book signing told me how mesmerising they'd found the real man engine when they'd seen it. My five-year-old son loved the man engine. We saw it twice when he came to Cornwall last year when they unveiled him. He's just fascinated by it. It's just when it rose in Troy the first time he saw it, he was so excited. And he speaks about it constantly ever since. How much did you enjoy reading that book last night? Lots. What was the best bit? Um, the best bit was... Uh, um, him like re really big. My nana suggested about the book, and it, there was uh, it was going to be signed down here. So I just was really interested because I have seen the man engine, and I just wanted to know a bit more, maybe. The illustrations are the work of Cornish artist Brian Hoskin. His illustrations here not just capture the palette of the Cornish mining landscape, but they get the character of the man engine himself and the pathos in his eyes and the moving facial expressions. How can that be for a metal thing? But Brian's captured it. What a star. Thousands turned out to see this colossal puppet which was created to mark the 10th anniversary of the Cornish Mining World Heritage Site designation. It proved so popular, a return tour starts next month. The big boy will be back, the Resurrection Tour 2018. We've got a whole bunch of really iconic industrial sites across the whole of Britain. We're doing South Wales and Yorkshire and such like places. But we couldn't go without saying goodbye to Cornwall. We're actually going to go up to Somerset, to Radstock, the old coal mining centre, and then we blaze the trail right across the United Kingdom. So there you go, what many of us hope to hear. The big boy will be back. Claire Manning, ITV News, Truro. Morning, my lovelies.